Okay, really quick tip relating to Power Automate and SharePoint. So let's say you've created a flow which emails a link to a list item. Okay, so I've, I've created a, a basic list here. Um, so say when an item is created in, in this list, a flow kicks off and it emails a link to somebody. It emails a link to somebody whoever's in this person column. And it emails them a link to the item which they have to then go and update, add a comment, whatever. Uh, when they click that link, it takes them to the sort of the display form. It's not the full edit form. They then click on edit all, and then they can go and make the changes. If you were, if you wanted the user to go straight into the edit all form, there is no sort of out of the box way to do that within um, within Flow. Uh, so, but there is a nice workaround we can do using the replace expression. So I'll show you as quickly as I can how to do that. So I've got my basic list here, I've got the title field and I've got a person column um, and just a couple of text fields. I uh, haven't built a flow yet so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go and Power Automate create a flow. Uh, actually we don't want to do this, just create a blank one. Create and this one's going to be an automated cloud flow when an item is created. Okay, create that. And then I point it to my SharePoint site and then the list itself, which is called people. Okay, when an item is created, um, we want to, well, but what we want to grab is actually the, the link to the item, right? Which is, should be provided somewhere. Link to item. Um, I'm putting it in Compose for a reason because I want to show you what it actually gives us. So then the, my next step would be send an email. Send an email to, and it's going to send it to whoever's in that person column. And this is just uh, action required. Um, please add comments. And then we'd have the link to the item, so I could just put my compose in there. So let's save that, and I'll just we'll test it out, and I'll show you what's going on there. So a new new item in this list. Put me, and then leave the rest of it blank. So we'll save that, and our flow should automatically kick off. Um, I'm not going to go and refresh it because. Because I'm demoing it, it's typically going to take about a minute and we'll be sat here for ages. So let's talk about what this is doing. So the link to the item um, is the only field it was offering us. So we've only got one option here. So it's a link straight to the item. And that link, let's just see if it's run yet. Being impatient. There we go. Okay, so the emails come through. Now the link, if we have a closer look at this link, if I, if I click on that, I'll show you where it takes me. So it takes me to the, the form and then I click on edit all and I can add the comments. So what I'm talking about is sending the user straight to this screen. Okay. Um, it's just one click away. It's a minor thing and most people are probably thinking, why bother? Um, but if you want to you know, go for that extra mile, that extra user experience, take them straight into the screen they need to be in, then this is how we do it. I'm not entirely sure what this is doing. Let's just click on that. There we go. So the link, if we look closer at this, we've got the, in fact, let me paste this into Notepad. We can see it a bit better. No, I mean, not much better, but <laughs> so we've got our link. We've got our, a link to my SharePoint site. We've got uh, the list form, and that's where th the question mark is where that ends. So the rest of these are parameters. Okay. So the first parameter is the page type. Okay, page type. That's something that we can actually use. Um, the list ID and the rest of it, the ID itself of the record, content ID, fine. It's the page type that we're actually interested in. So what we can do is we can use the replace function. This page type refers to so. For, for SharePoint page type, there we go, page type, you can see I've searched for it already today, a new 
enumerations there we go you've got a whole bunch of these now bear in mind a lot of these aren't going to work okay because it depends on the form that you're sending them to and so on but I can guarantee that four is the default and six is the edit form that we'd like to send them to so the way to do that is we'll just go in here put another step <coughs> actually no we don't we can just do it in our compose so instead of the link to item we'll just do an expression of replace and in here we're going to put the so it tells us what we need to do so it's the the string itself the string is going to be the link I missed it link to item comma and then what are we replacing well we're replacing page type now I believe it's like this I'm just going to check my notes on it yeah so it's a capital T equals four so that's what we're replacing and we're replacing it with page type equals six okay okay to that save it and if we just test that again with the previous previous run email comes through link looks the same but we've got now got page type equals six if you can see that if I click on it it takes me straight into the edit all form okay so small small thing but um, just thought I'd share that